Girl, what the fuck are you doing? Hi guys, welcome back to another one of my videos. I see that you guys kind of liked my crochet video, which was of me trying to crochet for the first time. In between that video, I also started like a different project and that's the project that I was talking about towards the end of the video. So I just want to show you guys like a day in my life of crocheting. I am a beginner. This is really my first ever project. I know I showed you guys this, which was supposed to be a coaster, but it's not a coaster. <laughs> Girl, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. But I decided to like keep it and not undo it. I even finished it off and fastened it and everything because this is also important. Even though it's not what it was supposed to be, it still has some like significance because this is my first ever like project, like trying to attempt, like it's my first ever attempt at creating something. And even though I failed, at least I tried. In the last video, you guys also saw me make this, which was, this is not a project. This was just more of a practice of my single stitch. I think that's what it's called, I don't know. But this was a practice of chain stitches and a single stitch. And then what I have been working on for a little bit of time because I would kind of stop and go, stop and go because life is a headband. <laughs> so at first when I started this, it was doing what this one was doing, which as you guys can see, it's like not equivalent. Like it's like more rounded right here, straight right here. It wasn't even, but that's because I wasn't counting my rows and I know how to count my rows and I was not counting like how many stitches there were. Since that I figured that out, I had to like take out a majority of it. Now it is this long equal equivalent piece of yarn and I am so excited about this I really like how it looks right now it's nighttime um, but like a day in my life like finishing a product I don't really know what I'm gonna title it but you guys already know thank you so I chose green because I only have three colors I only have gray white and green but I think if I really like this headband I'm gonna do a white one I I think that would eat. I, I think that would eat. And then, like, do you guys want a tutorial or something? I'm actually gonna move you guys right here if you don't mind. <sighs> there, that's just more comfortable because my bed is broken right now. Like, hello. So as I said, I am a beginner, so I still have to like watch videos. With this project, um, I had to do 68 rows, and I also I made sure I counted them, but I'm gonna recount just to make sure. Okay, I think I'm supposed to make one more row. I just finished the last one. I'm kind of nervous for this part, but right now I'm gonna do the 69th row. So I'm gonna chain one, turn my work, and then decrease stitch. Is that what that means? Decrease crochet. And then it says one stitch. Girl, I don't know.
camera is about to die, guys. Okay, now I'm on row 70. I just chained one and turned my work. Now I'm on chain 71. Okay, I just finished the part for this side. Um, it's like, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm not mad at myself. Now I'm just chaining 70 on this side and then I have to do what I literally just did on the side, on the side. And I'm wondering like, bruh, is this too long? Like, she said she can 70 chains. Bruh. That's an insane amount of chain numbers, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Update. Just so you guys know, it's 8.55 right now. I don't remember what time I started, but that's besides the point. So I just finished this chain and I did 30 instead of 70 because there's no reason for me to do 70. Like my headband is starting, it's like, it looks thicker than hers, but I don't mind that just because I don't really wear headbands with my natural hair. I usually wear them when I have in um, protective styles. So you know how protective styles are a lot more like bigger and like, voluminous or whatever or even braids like depending on what type of braids i get if i never get small braids i always get like medium so i feel like if it was smaller and skinnier it would have looked kind of like off am i just saying this because i'm like mad at myself like this is the vision guys this is the vision like this like i think this would be cute like i just finished this end again right here looks a little bit wonky i know thank you it's my first time like um decreasing a stitch i've never done that before so i just learned something new so now i have to do the same thing that i did to this side to this side wait don't i have to like add yarn or am i tweaking Okay guys, it's now 9.56 p.m. Today's September 11th, by the way, and 
I'm finally done with my first ever completed, completed crochet project. This is what she looks like. Hi guys. I know guys, I didn't end the video. Once again, what's going on with me? Like, girl. So if my background and stuff looks different, I'm at my dad's house. I'm not home right now. But I actually did end this video, but I don't know where the clip is. So this is me ending the video. So before we do that, let's talk about the project. This project took me a while to do. And not because it's like a long project or a hard project. It's just that when you're like, I feel like when you're a beginner and it's like your first project. Well, for me at least, like. I wanted to do it, but you mess up so many times, you're confused so many times, you have to replay the video so many times, you have to put the video in slow motion, and it just feels like the whole crocheting process for your first project is literally in slow motion. The process also took me long because I was not counting my stitches, guys. Like, I wasn't counting how much I was supposed to be doing. So there was a point in time where it was looking like how that gray one looked. If you know, you know. I was like, no, I'm not going to, like, continue and say, oh, this is only my second time. I'm a beginner. No, I'm going to undo it and try again. So that's what I did. And then it came out really good. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen so that you guys can see. So I think it's really cute. Um, I wish I made it a little bit thinner. I don't really know what happened there. Maybe it was my tension. But you know, everything is a process and everything takes time. Um, I still think I did a really good job for like my first project. I'm also still very proud of myself and I'm glad that I chose this as a first project. I feel like there's a good balance between easy and challenging. I'm also happy with the color that I chose. I feel like the color really like brought out the project like i don't want to explain it it's just really cute like i'm really proud of my sale i haven't worn it out yet because like green is so hard to like find something to go with like ex like an accessory is hard to put it together with an outfit so i don't really know yet maybe i might wear it today because i'm wearing all black and you know all black literally goes with I give this a, a 9 out of 10. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that I had to do an outro like this because my MacBook quality is not like my camera. If you guys have any crochet projects for beginners that you guys recommend, please comment and let me know. And let me know what your first project was and how did you feel about it? How long did it take you? Right now, I'm crocheting a chapstick holder. So I'm actually... And guys, you have to use a magic ring. And I learned how to do a magic ring. I'm not a professional. I can't do a magic ring off the dome. I gotta like watch a video, but I'm so proud of myself. It's just so crazy how there's so many different YouTube videos out there, but only some of them, they actually explain. The other ones, like they expect me to know what I'm doing or they don't really show what they're doing. Like. I need that step by step okay that but i'm so proud of myself that i made a magic ring like hello but okay guys that is all for this video let me know if you guys would want me to do any other type of crochet videos i kind of want to add crocheting videos to my channel i feel like they're so fun to make and it's a hobby that i really do enjoy i also wanted to add like reading content on my channel just because i just got a new book from my boyfriend i'm so excited to read it i've already read two books by colleen hoover and i'm about to be on my third one and guys i already know what book i'm gonna read next it's not by colleen hoover i'm gonna take a little break from her just to explore other authors but i know what i'm reading next and i know what i'm reading after that and i think the one that i'm reading after is gonna be i'm gonna start a series so i'm so I'm so excited. I can't wait to get done with this book. I haven't started it yet because I have to, I feel like I'm like in a book slump right now because I finished Ugly Love a minute ago. Not a hot minute ago, but like a minute ago. You guys saw me reading it in my last video. I would give that book a 10 out of 10. It was really good. I really liked it. I really loved it. It was, it was really good. I loved the ending. Like it was just, it, the whole thing was good. How it goes from Miles and Tate and like younger Miles to present Miles. Like it, it was just really good. But yeah, if, I think I want to make reading videos, but I don't know yet because I've only read two books. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. If you guys enjoyed, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also press the notification bell so that you guys can notified every single time that I post. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!